cookies in PHP, the basics. So what are cookies? Cookies are small strings of text that a website can store in a browser. Cookies are specific to a particular website or more specifically domain. One website cannot read the cookies from a different domain. You can put anything you like in a cookie, but they're easily viewed by anyone who has access to the browser. So don't store anything sensitive in there, like an email address or a user ID. To set a cookie in PHP, we use the setCookie function. And once they've been set, they can be read in the cookie array. Let's take a look at an example. The first argument to set cookie is the name of the cookie, and the second argument is the value. So here we're setting a cookie called example with the value hello. And in this script, we're just printing out the contents of the cookie array. If we run the set cookie script and then go back and run the read cookie script, we can see the cookie has been set. By default, the cookie is set to expire at the end of the session. That means when the browser is closed, the cookie is deleted. We can change this by adding an expiry using the third argument of set cookie. This value is a Unix timestamp, which means it's an integer number of seconds since the 1st of January 1970. The easiest way to set this is to use the time function and add a number of seconds to it. For example, here I'm adding two days worth of seconds to the current time, meaning the cookie will expire two days from now. Now if we set the cookie and view it, we can see it has an expiry date and time. To delete a cookie, we set the expiry to a time in the past. For example, here we're setting the expiration date to one hour ago. So if we set this cookie, view it, then delete it, we can see that it's been deleted. Cookies also have a path attribute. This defaults to the current directory the script is running in. In this script, we're setting the cookie from a script located in a subdirectory. When we run this and view the cookie, we can see that the path is set. Cookies set in subdirectories are only available to those scripts in those directories. So if we run the script to read cookies, which is located in the root, we can see that it can't see the cookie in the subdirectory. We can specify that the cookie should be available in the whole domain by adding a path argument to the setCookie function. Like that. Now if we set the cookie from the subdirectory and go back to the read cookie script in the root, we can see the cookie set from the subdirectory. One thing you need to be careful with is not sending any content before the setCookie function is called. If we add a blank line before our opening PHP tag, here, like that, when we run the script, we get this error. So make sure the setCookie function is called 
before any content is sent to the browser.